Hello guys, in this video we will design the Instagram logo in Jetpack Compose Canvas. So let's move on to Android Studio. We will create a new empty Compose activity because we have to use Jetpack Compose. We will give the name Compose Can Canvas. As we can see, we have to use Kotlin language because Jetpack Compose only supports Kotlin language. And minimum SDK we will use 21. Let's create the project. It may take uh, some time in creating the project. So let's wait. Okay, so now the project has been built. So we will create a new file, Kotlin file. I will name it Instagram logo. For that Instagram logo, we will create a new composable functions. In Jetpack Compose, we use composable functions to draw the UI. So I will name it Instagram logo. And for previewing this Instagram logo, I need to create a preview function. So can we can so we can see the changes simultaneously in this split window. Okay, let's create the preview function. Instagram logo preview and I will call the Instagram function okay to design this Instagram logo we need custom shapes for custom shapes in the jetpack compose there is a canvas canvas you can think of a drawing sheet so let's use the canvas in this canvas it provides us two parameters first one modifier with the help of modifier we can modify the canvas properties like size padding let me show you see size padding height clickable background these things we can modify but for now I will use size function so I will size it 100 dp and let's import and this on draw parameter I will use in the parenthesis in this on draw parameter this canvas gives us many tools so we can draw our shapes for drawing this Instagram logo we need a rounded rectangle and a circle and a filled circle so first we will take the rounded rectangle and canvas provides us many functions many tools like we can draw circle rounded rectangle line arc for now let's take the rounded rectangle <clears throat> as we can see it is giving us two parameter sets every draw function of the canvas gives us two types of set first one is brush second color and the rest of the parameters are same exactly for both sets let's see the difference in brush if if you need multiple colors then you can brush parameter if you need only single color then you can use color parameter so we need like we can see we need multiple color colors like yellow red magenta so i will use the brush parameter for brush brush gives us linear gradient and this linear gradient needs list of colors so let's create colors list yellow red magenta
let's provide these colors we need to uh, see the preview but it is not showing so let's build and refresh okay let's zoom it as we can see the this canvas has drawn the rounded rectangle but it is not rounded right now and the other thing is it has drawn the rectangle as of same size of canvas so let's modify these two things first we need first we need some spacing between these between this rounded rectangle and our compose canvas so let's give some padding here i will give it 15 dp and let's see the preview okay but this canvas is not showing the background there is a parameter in this preview annotation name show background i will turn it to true let's see the change. look it is now showing the background okay we have given we have given some padding between these two but now we need two more things we need only the outline of this rect rounded rectangle let's change this for outline it is called stroke to set the stroke we there is a parameter called style and with the help of this parameter we can set the stroke we can see by default this style function takes the fill so it fill the shape but let's see the change okay now it is looking good but we need to make the corners rounded for that there is a parameter called corner radius so we can give the radius of the corner i will give it to 40f let's see the preview okay see now we have perfectly drawn the rounded rectangle now the next thing is this circle okay like there is a draw round rectangle there is a draw circle tool again this takes two sets of parameter brush and color again we have to use the brush because we need multiple colors insta colors let's see the changes okay so as we can see this canvas has drawn the circle but it has drawn the same size as of the canvas but we need a smaller size and again we need only the outline stroke that is stroke so first we will change it to change the stroke with the help of style let's see changes okay now it has turned the filled circle into the outline okay so now we need only one more thing that is circle of different smaller size to give it a smaller size there is a parameter called radius so here we can define the radius of this circle i will take 45f and let's see the changes okay so now this circle is also drawn perfectly now the last thing we need is this filled circle and in this corner again we will draw the circle and take the brush parameter 
to give it multiple colors let's see the changes okay so now it has drawn the circle but again we need to uh, give two things like we need to resize it to smaller and we need to fix the position so let's resize it for resizing we i will use radius 13f let's take and see the changes it's looking very good but we need to relocate it to this corner for that there is a parameter called center so we can define the center of this circle to defining the center i will use i will give the value to x axis and y axis x axis is the horizontal line and y axis is the vertical line so let's give the values as we can see this horizontal line that is x axis is something like 80% of this canvas width so i will calculate this x axis with the help of canvas width and i will multiply it to 0.8f so it will give us the 80% value and for now let's use the y value 0f let's see the changes okay so now we can see it has relocated it to the x different x axis like 80% of this canvas but uh, we need to give the y axis also it so it can move a little bit down we can see that it is something like 20% of this canvas height so i will again i will calculate the value with the help of canvas height i will multiply it to 0.2f so it gives the value of 20% let's see the changes okay so we can see that we have drawn the perfect instagram logo so that's all for this video thank you for watching